Are you thinking about buying a home with a masonry chimney? Well, if you are, make sure you do this one thing. Hi, I'm Blake Davenport with the Davenport Group. I'm a local realtor in the DC metro area, here to share with you short and simple real estate tips. Today we're going to be talking about the chimney inspection and why you absolutely need to have one if you're buying a home with a masonry chimney. So typically when you buy a home, you're going to have a home inspection unless it's waived, but typically you'll have a home inspection where it's a general home inspection where the home inspector will come, they'll look through all the electrical plumbing, uh, they'll look at the outside of the house, inside of the house, but when it comes to the chimney, they don't do a very thorough inspection because they just don't have the equipment and it's just extra and typically you need to have a chimney company do a chimney inspection. What the home inspector will look at is kind of just the outside brickwork just to make sure there's no cracks or this or that. Also when they look on the inside they'll kind of just look at the firebox and not actually look up the flume or the way the chimneys are designed you really can't see up the flume so you can't really see if there's any cracks or, or potential hazards. So that's why I highly highly recommend that you get a separate chimney inspection. It's typically around a hundred dollars and it's performed by a outside chimney company as I said previously. So what happens during a chimney inspection? So they come out they um, take a video camera and they basically ram it up the chimney and look at, for the terracotta tiles. So the chimney flue is lined with terracotta tiles and basically every, I wanna say two or three feet uh, is another terracotta tile stacked on top of each other and they're gonna have mortar joints around and so they're looking to see if any of those mortar joints are cracked. If they are, that's kind of where water gets in and kind of breaks it down and that's where soot and ash from the fire of the flame gets settled in there and that could be a huge hazard because it could cause an internal fire in the house which could burn your house down so it's a major safety concern since most homes in the dc metro area are around you know 100 years old or so just depending on the property but a lot of the single family homes were built in the 30s and 40s it's very very common that the chimney needs to be relined or replaced altogether we've had that happen before so as they're checking and they're going up each tile they'll check uh, to see if the terracotta tiles are cracked which i've had that happen before just recently but they're also just looking for each line and they'll look from the outside as well and if there's enough cracks that, that could be um, deemed worthy of a replacement which can cost several thousand dollars typically it's between two to three thousand dollars just depending upon uh, how tall the chimney is they'll either put a stainless steel liner down the chimney and um, or kind of do a high-tech foam spray on the inside to make sure that there's no way for soot to, to collect and potentially be a hazard to the chimney. Uh, also exterior brickwork may need to be fixed because that's kind of where water is, is eating in or get, getting into the chimney and kind of eating away when water is a great thing but when it freezes and expands it can destroy brick. So and again this is why I only do really a chimney inspection on a house that has a masonry chimney so brickwork uh, versus one that's covered with vinyl siding uh, you probably don't need to do a chimney inspection but don't quote me on that you know why I say I highly highly suggest doing a chimney inspection because I would say almost every single time or every single one that I went on needs to be relined typically it's around 90% uh, of the time that the chimney needs relined and once the seller knows that there is an issue they have to fix it because if you back away they then have to disclose to the next party that the chimney needs to be relined and that it could be a fire hazard. So almost always they fix it. So that's why, you know, I have one done. It's a, typically it's around $100 or so just depending upon the chimney inspection or chimney company uh, that you have performed the inspection. But it's one of those tasks that I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're getting a mortar chimney. So there you have it. If you're buying a home with a mortar chimney or a brick chimney, you need to make sure that you get a separate chimney inspection. It's around $100. They'll check the inside with the video camera but it almost always results in the seller fixing it, which um, saves you a lot of money and really is a great protection, safety protection, uh, because a lot of people don't know to do this and then they just move in and they you know, light the fire and they don't realize that it's such a risk. And a lot of the times when we do these chimney inspections and we go back to the sellers, they're like shocked that like, oh, well, we've used the chimney, we've never had any issues because when they bought the house, they never had a chimney inspection done. It's not as common to do, but it's definitely something that you should do and I highly recommend. If you like this video, click the like icon. If you have any questions or, or concerns at all or comments, please leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Um, also click the, like, the subscribe button or the bell icon to be notified of our next video. But thanks again for checking out this real estate tip on chimney inspections. Bye-bye.